Today on Josh Paints, we'll be making another three and a half hour long video on how to install a green APU. I'm just kidding, that was, that was a bad video. I understand guys, it was a bad video. We're gonna be hooking up a new pyrometer. We're gonna be running a sensor out here or whatever it's called, so we can tell how much heat we're putting through the exhaust. We're gonna run a wire up into the dash and putting the gauge in. So let's go ahead and unbox this, show you what you're all gonna get if you get this kit, and start putting it together. So here's the part number. I don't know if that's the actual part number you need or not, that's the only thing on this box. Um, but this should work for any Peterbilt or any truck that takes a round gauge, or anything that you wanna drill a hole in and put a round gauge in to have a gauge. So let's go ahead and Oh, I actually did cut myself. No, I'm just kidding. So here's your probe. Here's the um, directions. Tons of wiring. Now the biggest downfall of this is I do not like the gauge it comes with. I mean, it would be okay if you're looking for a more retro style gauge, but like in the 389s, I don't think it looks that great, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna put like a digital one in or try and find another gauge right now. I'm gonna slap this one in. But then it's got a little, I guess these are called bung holes. Like if your pipe, if your pipe didn't have a little nipple already welded on for you to thread your probe into. You could always weld this on it, you know, like drill a hole, weld this down, and you'd be good to go. We're gonna remove the plug. Make sure this is tightened down properly oh yeah okay so we're probably gonna run i don't like that we'll probably go up here with the wires like that and then i'll run them up the firewall and i think i'm gonna go through this hole here next thing we gotta do is we gotta take all these panels out without breaking them trim bezels or whatever. <clears throat> this is the one that always scares me. I should be using a tool for this. Beautiful. Now you should use a screwdriver to take the rest of these screws out so you don't end up stripping them out. What I'm really hoping for with this new phone is better audio quality. Like, the audio is absolute trash on the XR, so I always had to use like earbuds for a mic just to make it even somewhat watchable or listenable. Um, hopefully this video turns out a lot better. We're gonna find out. So what I'm gonna remove I don't want to drill. I know I have room over here to drill more holes, but that would just be stupid because then I'd have like just one random gauge here. I guess I could put it here. It wouldn't look that stupid, but we're just going to remove a gauge that we aren't going to use. So we're going to, we're going to remove the um, clock because nobody really uses that clock anyways. Well, let's just be honest. So we're going to remove that and put our gauge in there. So there's like a little nub right here then that is for your 389 gauges to keep them aligned so that way they're all straight up and down. They don't end up turning or getting all cockeyed on you. We just gotta uh, file that off.
Glove box is removed. Where am I gonna put my gloves? <laughs> So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our wiring unraveled. Now there's gonna be one side that is open, as you can see, and one side that is sealed. This is the side we're gonna leave out at the manifold because it's sealed and waterproof, or better, sealed and more so waterproof. So let's go ahead and get that open. I'm sorry guys, I, I'll stop with the knife. I know that joke's getting old. Now this is where skill comes in. Will I cut the wires? Or just the tape? I cut the wire harness. Video's over. We got a new how-to video coming soon on how to re- rerun feeder Ugh. factory peterbilt wire harness Bingo! You guys thought I cut pulling wire through there's only like <laughs> Now we're gonna get up close and personal with hooking up these wires here and the um retaining clip. I put it in without showing you guys, but this is what holds your gauge in. You just slide down over your um whatever you would call those then contrary to what you might believe there's a plus and a negative on the back of these you would think the plus side would be for the red and the negative would be for the yellow but that that's just not the way it is it's actually red to negative and the yellow goes to the plus side The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install the little light that it comes with for our backlight. So we're gonna strip this back a little bit. Like so. Like so. And we're gonna put two little spade connectors on here. On TikTok, for some reason, everybody got mad at me for using these in a video in a dash because they're like they're non-heat shrink it's gonna corrode away if we got corrosion issues inside of a 389 peat in the dash we got more than just wiring issues like we got we got major problems here these will be just fine nothing else in here is heat shrunk man you guys are making me mad this morning all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this is for the um clock that we removed this right here is the hot side for the backlight on it. We'll plug that in there. 
and we're gonna steal the ground wire from the actual clock it, plug itself. Good and snug. Now when I turn this key on, this light should come on. Look at that. We did it, guys. Let's make sure it turns off, make sure it's not continuously hot. Okay, we're good, we're good. It went off with the other lights, so we're gonna just go ahead and run this back in through here and push it into the little light hole socket. If I can even manage that. All right, perfect. So we are done with this portion of the dash. So we're gonna go ahead and put this panel back in place.
talk about the Christmas tree, guys. What we're here to talk about is the pyro gauge, which is working. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit hotter. Son of a gun, who has... Believe it or not, I didn't actually mean to be blasting the jakes in the, in the starting video. I didn't realize the jakes were on, all right? There's a time and a place for that. This was not the time nor the place. By the way, guys, one of the most, the biggest things that I'm excited about is after doing a couple YouTube videos, because the whole camera thing, the whole video quality, everything is so much different than doing TikTok videos. I was always cutting off half of my face. You guys saw a lot of close-ups of my face. Um, with this, we should be able to get my entire face. I, I saw myself several times we were watching at home on the TV and I was like, oh my gosh. It works, we're good, I'm happy. See you guys in the next video.